Hi, Joshua Carr here again. Um, I wanted to show you a fun little bit of machinery. Th this is a question I get asked sometimes. Sometimes someone comes to me and says, hey, I've got a financial model where I know what my occupancy is going to be in the future. I want to get it filled up. I know where I'm starting from, but I want to make it flexible. So if I think that it's not going to fill until month six, it does 15, 32, 49, 66, 83, 100. But if I think it's not going to fill until month eight, then it slows down the leasing schedule. Or if I think it'll lease up quickly, like month four, it will lease it up more quickly. How did I build this so that if I change the ending month when I expect to be full, it flexibly adjusts things? Uh, pretty simple. This is what I did. The first thing I did is I, let me make this again, month six. I did a very simple if statement that says, if the month I'm in is greater than or equal to the month when it's filled, put in a one, if not put in a zero. So as you can see, I've got ones and zeros, right? I then did a little if statement here that said, if line eight is a zero, put in a one, if not put in a zero. So basically, once we get to month six, we have nothing but ones. Before month six, we have nothing but zero, nothing but zeros, and then I put ones here. Now you may wonder why I put the ones here, like why I just didn't do zeros and then ones. Why am I having this second line of ones and then zeros? The reason is because of what I put in here. I said, if H8 equals one, then one. In other words, if we're full, if that's the ending point, then put in a one. So once we get to month six or beyond, it's gonna be a one, in other words, 100%. If not, take the 100%, subtract the 15%, that will give you the 85% difference between 15 and 100, and divide that by sum F9 AB9 plus one. In other words, if we think it's not gonna fill until month six, then there would be four plus one, there'd be five steps between where I started and where I ended, right? Because if I'm starting at 15 in month one and I wanna to get to 100 in month six, there's gonna be five steps between month one and month six. So if you take 85% divided by five and you add to it what's in the prior month, you basically have a rolling average. So this would be 85% divided by five plus the 15, which gets you the 32, 85 divided by five plus 32, which gets you to 49, 66, 83, 100. So again, first, when do I expect it to be full? Then a very simple if statement that says, if these are zeros, then put in ones. And the reason I need the ones here is because that's how I count the steps. And if I'm going from month one to month six, there's gonna be five steps from one to six. In other words, four plus one, and that's how it works. Don't get me wrong, there are a lot of other ways to do this, but this is a simple way to use an if statement, a sum, and basically get us from a starting point to an ending point. And that is, as I write here, a fun bit of machinery. If this sort of thing makes you happy, uh, you can read more about stuff like this at carrealestate.com or you can email me at josh at carrealestate.com. And again, thank you very much.